so on the ninth day of Christmas is something special to me because it was a present from my daughter. She gave it to me at my grandson's birthday party because our birthdays are very close together. And it's a periodic table handkerchief. Not a very big handkerchief, but big enough to be useful. Unfortunately, it doesn't have some of the later elements, but you could argue if you're going to blow your nose on it, perhaps it's just as well that it's not too up to date. But I think it is quite fun and it's very clear compared to some of the other periodic tables that you get. And it's really good because you can hear from my voice, I've got a cold. So, here goes. <laughs> <laughs> Professor, are you a hanky user? Oh, very much so. I always have two, one in each pocket. Otherwise, I sneeze in the most embarrassing way. I've always had handkerchiefs since I was a child and I used to wipe up the chemicals with my handkerchief. And when I was at school, one day, in the chapel, in the prayers, I pulled my handkerchief out of the pocket and it just turned to powder because the chemicals had all rotted it away. So nowadays, I don't mop up my chemicals with my handkerchief. On day nine, we have periodic table, handkerchief, a charred piece of wood. Day seven, a fan from a fan, carbon, anthracite, a glowing plectrum, four drinking receptacles, two periodic table bed covers, and one piece of tartaric acid from a Swiss wine barrel. What will be day 10?